<laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Adar and welcome to Star Tropics. I played this game a few times way long ago. Uh, you'll actually see a few things that are very similar to some old games. So let's start it up. One thing you notice that it looks just like Legend of Zelda, how the screen is. So let's, uh, let's, uh, register our name. Which you can actually pick longer names. So they improved on that. So let's, uh, um, put our name in. And then, there we go. <laughs> Day one. So we land on this island to look for Dr. Jones. I think it's our uncle. What you'll notice is it's very similar to a lot of other games. Like, um,. Oh, what was it? Dragon Warrior. Dragon Warrior had the same type of over-the-world graphics like this. Uh, Legend of Zelda 2 also did. Okay, so we are here to meet our uncle, I think. I remember this game. It made me mad. Uh, but more on that later. I've been waiting for you, our chief Korokola, and our good friend of your uncle. Okay, so it is our uncle. Listen, Mike. I have some bad news. Last night. Try not to be upset. But your uncle, Dr. Jones. Wait, Dr. Jones? Uh. No, not Indiana Jones. Has been abducted. We must keep this from the Islanders so they don't panic. You are our best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. I don't know what to do. Can you help? Well, I guess if you pick no, the game will be over. So let's pick yes. Good. You're brave. Take this island yo yo. You may think the yo yo is a toy, but it's powerful. So, we get a yo-yo. That's our weapon. A yo-yo. Looks peaceful around here, but in the dark below, many monsters have appeared in the last years. Don't let them get out. Find a tunnel in the village. Like, why won't he tell me where the tunnel is? So, we have to go talking to everybody. I think the only way to get the... The, uh the cutscene to trigger is to actually talk to every single person. So, we're gonna go to every single person. Yes, I've already met the chief. Now, the, the uh, the animations are just like Dragon Warrior. Oink, oink. And yes, it does show the pig's butt. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna roast a pig for your welcome party. Yay? Your uncle, Dr. Jones, is nice. We call him Dr. J. Where do you come from, Americola? And this place is called Coracola. Ha ha ha. Last night I gazed up at the Southern Cross. Suddenly, saw many shooting stars. Legends say shooting stars are omens of disaster. Oh me, oh my. So if he's looking at the Southern Cross, this must be 
in the southern hemisphere. I heard you were coming. You want to go fishing? No. So, was that everybody? And now, if I would have talked to everybody, he would like, go away. And now we get to talk to the creepy person. I am the shaman and sister of the island chief. Your uncle was abducted because he found a secret in the lost ruins. I have great hope that you will succeed in rescuing Dr. Jones. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Now saving. And now we change from the overworld to this. This has the weirdest controls. Like, you can press left and right, up and down, and you don't move. You gotta hold it down, but then sometimes it don't even go at all. Like, you have to hold a little bit longer. I don't know if I can get this, but... Yeah, it takes, like, a, almost two seconds for it to move. So it's... It's slow. Now, most of the enemies AI and stuff is very similar to Legend of Zelda. Uh, you will see that in a few seconds. Also, you see right here, one little area, the enemies make the door open. Very similar. I guess you could say these were more like the little slimes. I have no idea what the hearts or the stars and the potion does. Now this is where you come to the first puzzle. So you can't get to the top. You have to go uh, to the side. And that unlocks a secret little uh, button. I'm gonna kill everything because st they drop stuff. And every game has to have rats. Maybe not as the first enemy, but it's definitely one of the enemies that you come to. I think you can upgrade the yo-yo. I can't remember that. Um... Actually, the only thing I really remember is that one memorable moment. And the moment was back whenever I rented this game on a weekend. I just got out of school, rented it uh, right after I got out of school. Looked fun. Uh, you could actually see the picture of the, the box down there. Looked really good. The back had a really good story. Like, yeah, I'm going to try it. So one of my friends came over. We're gonna sleep. He's gonna sleep over, and we started playing it. We probably started around four or five, and we we got up to the part where there's a submarine, and the hint to the uh, the code it had a three digit code was dip the the note your uncle gave you or something like that and we looked all over the game there was no note we tried going down to the water nothing found out later that you actually had to uh, dip this piece of paper that actually came in the game uh, the game box in the water and it would give, give you a coat well we didn't know that so <laughs> instead of getting bad just turning it off we decided to punch in random numbers and <laughs> you can kind of guess how many numbers there are for three digits you know also the bats take after the bats from Legend of Zelda they move around then they stop also the whole map looks like a skull but there's I don't think there's anything here um, anyway we started just putting in random numbers 
and there is a thousand numbers that you can put in from 000 to 999 so you know it's not gonna be 000 or you know not even in the hundreds so we decided to take turns every five minutes one of us would uh, try and we got up to about seven o'clock and we were just really mad and then oh and then I had the idea of punching in the time on the VCR and that would have been 747 which happened to be the code for the submarine we were very happy but that's all I remember and I've never played the game since well I played it just a few seconds ago to make sure it worked but okay so we've been to the left we've been to the right yeah there's nothing so we need to go to the uh, to the top of this screen which there is a hidden button somewhere there it is okay so we got that and a treasure chest go up to it no you have to activate the hidden switch oh did I mention jumping on those is very annoying you can't just walk up to it and I I don't remember what the torch does but you have to jump on each square so that does get annoying okay oh change of music okay there's a boss okay those snakes are acting just like the snakes from Zelda um, actually they were called ropes <laughs> they move they go back wait where are you going oh haha <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get it okay um well, we know that way leads somewhere does this does this have anything no also you can't run and jump okay that opens that but there's a okay another torch I don't know what they do That selects it. Okay, it's just like a magic attack, I guess. Hang on, there's another button. Wait, what did that do? Okay. What? Oh. Okay, there's a potion. wonder if there's anything in here wonder what the potion does okay there is okay another one okay what about this room wonder if there's anything in it same place Okay. There's another room that has another one. Oh. What? What was that? We lost everything. We lost our uh, potions. We lost our stars, which I don't know what they're for. Uh, we lost the torches. Uh, okay, it put us back one room before here, so we know where we're at. Okay, I'm not doing that. 
Will it give us... Okay, it, it gives us the same thing over and over. Um, it, I'll definitely go back and get the, the potions. I just don't know what they do. I hate these controls. Alright, same spot. So it's not randomized. Yep, same spot. But I'm not going in there. I guess it's like if you're greedy, which I was greedy. So let's go back over here and go out the door and see because it's uh it's, it's given like there's a boss tone okay that's not good uh let's let's actually take a second here and see Okay, that noise is just the hearts. Okay, let's see. Um, Star Tropics. Yeah, Star Tropics. I have big thumbs that I can't type. Uh, potion. Uh, weapon and Items Guide. Okay, so here we go. You know what, I think there's, there's actually a pause button. <laughs> okay, so... We have a yo-yo. You get a shooting star, a supernova... Okay, the torch. Torch works like the shooting star, it only is not as powerful. You throw a fireball out. Causing as much damage as a yo-yo. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, do copy. Do. It does as much damage as the yo yo. Uh, you only need it to kill the first ball, so now we know. That's baseball, bad, bola, slingshot. Okay, but what about this potion? Okay, automatic items. Small heart containers, stars. Stars, if you collect five of these. On heart container, uh, your life is restored. Okay. Sign, magic watch, magic breath, pills, uh, potion. This item, when used, will restore severe, several lost hearts. It says it's only one use for each one picked up. Okay, but it says when used. Maybe it's like an automatic, like a fairy? So, who knows? Okay, so... That's an important email that I... Oh! Okay, I just found out something. If you punch down in the pause menu, you can do that. And I already used one crap. Ah, oh, it didn't give us any more. <laughs> okay. So let's, uh, let's go. Okay, it's not the boss. Maybe just change the sound. No, 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 no. Okay, let's, uh, we pause, go down, use. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, let's go up, down. Haha. <laughs> okay, so the ball should be soon. Oh! Okay, it can only be hurt whenever it's mounted. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so doesn't look like it's attacks. Never mind. Oh great, now I'm out of um, things. And the yo-yo is not helping, so that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Boom. Okay, and there's the dead snake. Okay. See, why couldn't that one just activate it? Okay. Let's go up. Do, do, do. Wow, you've done it. Saving your data. Good luck. You are now on chapter one. So that was a prologue. So I'm going to stop it right here. Um, I'll be uploading this sometime. Unless I get a copyright claim, then I may take this down. I may keep it up. You don't know. Um, I'd really like to just start playing all these types of games. So, um, thank you for watching, you know, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.